Hello, happy Friday, happy Mercury retrograde, happy Aries new moon, happy eclipse, happy Taurus season as of yesterday. <laughs> so, so, so many energies, not to mention all of the ascension solar energies coming off the sun and woof, this week has been intense. So I slept over nine hours last night and I know a lot of other people have been tired, feeling physical symptoms. For me yesterday, it was fatigue, but these energies are very interesting. It's been this kind of sense of compression for me as well as peace and expansion. It's the both and because we have this Aries new moon, the second one, it's this like go, go, go energy. This eclipse portal is very much about new beginnings, but with new beginnings come new endings. It's not always on the eclipse day. It can be weeks and even months after the fact. And then we have the lunar eclipse coming up on May 5th. So we have this portal that we're in which can really bring us into, a, I just have one with one, it's, it's bringing us into alignment with our soul's higher truth. So a lot of things in our life that are related to our ego are going to be stripped away. And if we're already in alignment on our path, then things can open up and expand for us, new opportunities. But just trust and surrender, that's a big theme, that if things are getting shaken up a little bit if things are getting stripped away if you are experiencing endings and this could be anything this could be relationships this can be jobs career total pivots and transitions it could be you know even getting uprooted from your home i know a lot of light workers have kind of been in this holding pattern so this could bring a breakthrough energy for a lot of people and at the same time things could feel a little bit destabilized so it's kind of this both in energy taurus is very much about a stabilization and then we have retrograde energy which i just totally experienced a little retrograde snafu myself i went on zoom and then i got i, I was like why isn't anybody here <laughs> for this this series that I've been doing this week and it's an integration and expansion series because of this energy that we're in and I then checked my email and there was email saying yeah I tried to join and it said there was another meeting in progress I clicked start from the same link I copied into the email so I don't know how that happened I still don't it's I blame it on retrograde <laughs> right so we have to be double checking but this is really a time to rest review renew and recalibrate but integrate these energies step into that expansion but allow those new frequencies to settle into our system this is what the integration is all about. I haven't been on here in a minute because I've been hosting this self mastery summit, which was a lot. And then this week I did that integration and expansion masterclass series because there was so much information because we were entering this eclipse portal. It's a lot to integrate. And I think this is what's missing from a lot of people as they go through this journey is that aspect of integration. We jump from one thing to the next to the next from one healing session to another reading to another retreat to another Tony Robbins experience, a Joe Dispenza retreat, whatever it may be, right? And we don't give ourselves that opportunity to integrate. I fell into that trap a while ago that the healing loop and this is very true for example with plant medicine where people don't allow themselves to integrate that one experience. I personally feel it can take a year plus to integrate one ceremony depending depending on how deep you went. It doesn't always work like that right but one perhaps like one particular series if you did a series that's fine but a lot of people are jumping the point is from one thing to the next no matter what it is and we're not giving ourselves the opportunity to integrate. Let's say we go to an activation and all of these high power frequencies are coming into us and we don't give ourselves that time to integrate it. We our nervous system might not have had the opportunity to really recalibrate to those new frequencies so then things can get a little destabilized so this is where the energetic self-sabotage comes in and when we might manifest the thing and then something else falls out the back end for example or we just kind of hit a plateau we feel stuck we're spinning in circles we can't figure out why things aren't taking well it's this integration piece that is super important so I just wanted to share that because with this retrograde energy with this powerful eclipse portal we're going to want to really rest to really regenerate, renew, recuperate, recalibrate to the energies, to the frequencies, to this new state of being. It's literally activating us down to our DNA, into our nervous system. So give yourself that time and space to rest. Like I know I am going to take some time for myself this week and I took a bath last night. I slept over nine hours <laughs> and I, I still want that time and space to myself. Understanding how you operate is very important. Understanding your energetic type, like I'm a human design projector, 
I definitely need my alone time and I'm an introvert, I'm an empath, highly sensitive person, however you want to look at it, all the things, right? So I just wanted to share this message. It has been a minute since I have come on and shared uh, in light of my little retrograde experience in particular and the fact that we are being called to rest and recuperate and regenerate. So just allow it. Trust, surrender, allow what is wanting to come through to come through and allow what is being you know asked to like uh, for us to let go of let go of control surrender what is meant to fall away trust that because it's always for our highest good so this is where that trust and surrender piece comes in handy <laughs> not easy but this is the journey of life this is the journey of awakening and ascension however you want to call it and this is the way i call it the journey of self mastery because it is really about coming to know thyself so if you're curious about the the summit there will be a replay next week so there, it, it, I, I don't have a link on TikTok, but I'll link it in YouTube. But uh, yeah, just go to thisarcalllife.com slash, you know, the regular slash, uh, self-mastery-summit. And you can register there. It's pretty self-explanatory. And yes, onward and upward in love and light. Hope to see you soon.